They ain't got no football trophies in Texas. <laughs> What's going on, people? Welcome back to Review Jack Brief. I got another banger video for you guys today. Let's be special, baby. Let's be special. So, Jonte Cook, highly touted four star receiver in the class of 2023, 41st overall player rated nationally. So, everybody wants, everybody wants him. He's now my favorite recruit in the class of 2023. I don't care what anybody says anymore. So, my guy is from Texas. Plays at DeSoto, Texas, heart of Texas. He goes and visits the University of Texas on an official football visit. And they show him the trophy room there. And if anybody knows anything about the University of Texas trophy room where they have all the recruits take pictures, a lot of those trophies in the background aren't actually football trophies. You know, they have a lot of uh, other sport trophies in there too, like swimming, for example. Their swimming and diving team nationally is absolutely outstanding. Absolutely great. 24 championships between their swimming and diving team, which is, which is great. That's absolutely insane. But my guy goes and visits the University of Texas, and uh, he has trouble finding some football trophies there. He walks in and says, all they got is swimming trophies there. All they got is swimming trophies. No football trophies. All the trophies? Yeah. All the sports. My guy, you cannot say that to the University of Texas. The fans will absolutely tear you apart. And they did on social media, but it's funny. I'm here for it. I am here for it. I support you, young man. Keep on doing your thing. And then my guy goes to Texas A&M. And what does Texas A&M do? The recruiting staff at Texas A&M thinks it's a good idea to show an Emmy that the, the school won or something. It's an Emmy. It's not a football trophy. What does he do? Hey, come on, man. These real awards, man. Huh? Real trophy. Emmy for the Pulse. Emmy. Big boy. Big boy Emmy now. Stop playing. Where's the sports trophy going? <laughs> oh. It says Texas A&M football. 12 man productions. Hey, okay. Jake, this is your trophy. Nah, I should. Oh, Moments later. Still ain't seen no football trophies. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, folks. I ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie. Oh, man. He posts online, I still ain't seen no football trophies. People, what are we missing here? Show the young man some football trophies. Show him some trophies. But I mean, that's the story of the University of Texas and Texas A&M when it comes to football. The University of Texas has won four championships, which is a lot, but they have, they've only won one in the past 50 years. Texas A&M hasn't won a conference championship since 1998, and they haven't won a national championship since before World War II. Texas, Texas consistently as a state pumps out high level recruits, high level high school football players, high level college guys, but then those guys from high school just seem to leave the state and go somewhere else. And they you know they go to the NFL. There's an absurd amount of NFL players from the state of Texas. Absolutely crazy amount of players from the state of Texas. Absolutely, it's insane. But Texas just has issues retaining the talent. I don't know why. I mean, look at uh, the, you know this past recruiting class. I'm throwing, I'm throwing. Quinn Ewers in that recruiting class. I don't care. This where he, he was academically before he reclassified. But the top two quarterbacks in the class, Quinn Ewers went to Ohio State at first. Now he's back at Texas because he didn't get playing time. But he left the state, went to Ohio. Cade Klubnik left the state, went to South Carolina. You got to retain the quarterbacks, Texas. But nah, this, this, this whole story is just kind of funny. I, I find it quite entertaining. Now, people online, social media, unsurprisingly, were absolutely just, you know, trying to tear this young man apart, tear him down. Why are they doing that? This kid's a high schooler. Let him be. Yeah, I know you're, I know you're a 35-year-old man sitting there with little Twitter fingers trying to tear down a 16-year-old kid online because he made a joke about your alma mater, your favorite college team. I'm sorry you did, but why are we, why are we tearing this young man down? Let him be, man. Let him be, live his life. He's the future. You should support him. But you know, the way that Jimbo's been recruiting though at Texas A&M, things could change real fast for that program. They could turn on real fast. They could be a great year for them. And we'll see how those guys develop. They've got some really good guys coming in. It's gonna be difficult to get them all in the field. So we see how that goes in two years. They could have a, a very spicy transfer portal from Texas A&M. It's gonna be hard to get all those guys on the field. Because all those guys you know, are walking in, being the alphas from their high school programs, alphas in the countries as five-star recruits. It's hard to get them all on the field. And including the guys that you already got on your roster too. You know, the guys that have put in their time on the team, developed there, they want their playing time. Otherwise they're gonna leave and go somewhere else. 
And also, with all this NIL, pay, kind of like the pay to play era, Nick Saban kind of touched upon it in an interview that he did recently. We're kind of creating a, you know, a little bit of a cast system with these teams where, you know, the top guys, you know, the top receiver, you know, everybody else is getting paid this NIL money from, you know, little car dealerships, boosters, wherever. But, you know, the fourth string receivers might be a little jealous of like, hey, why, where's my money? Why am I not getting paid? I'm showing up to the same workouts as this guy. I'm showing up to the same practices as this guy. Why am I not getting my bread? So it'll be interesting to see how this how this goes, but you know, Texas A&M could have a great year. They, they play in a tough conference. They have a very tough schedule ahead of them, but they could do it. And you know, Texas, I'm a big fan of their running back in Bijan Robinson. I think Bijan has a legitimate chance to win the Heisman. I know people may be laughing at that, but I think that young man has a chance to win the Heisman and he could lead Texas to a great year. We'll see how the quarterback situation plays out. I know Hudson Card is currently, you know, the the starter, but I think he's the quote unquote starter and name only at this point. We all know that Quinn Ewers didn't go there to be the backup. And Steve Sarkeesian is not gonna keep Quinn Ewers on the bench. He saw what Hudson Card did last year. He wants to see what Quinn can do this year for him because that seat gets hot real fast at Texas. And he Steve Sarkeesian, he felt the hot seat at USC before, so he knows what the hot seat feels like in a major program. I know he's wanted to avoid that, so we'll see. But, you know, it could be a turnaround year for both programs. We'll have to see how they do, but that's all I got for today, guys. As always, have a great day. Tell somebody you love them. Deuces. <laughs>